Hi everyone and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We're so happy you're here. Please consider subscribing to the channel, your support means the world to us. Today's big idea comes from Alex Korb and his insightful book, The Upward Spiral. The book has the subtitle, Using Neuroscience to Reverse the Cause of Depression, One Small Change at a Time, and is, in its essence, a guide on how to defend yourself against depression and anxiety. In the book, we learn that our brain and body work together as a system. The things we think, the habits we form, and the social activities we engage in all intertwine, putting us in either an upward spiral or a downward spiral. Let's walk you through the essential points conveyed in the book. The Downward Spiral If you tell someone you're feeling depressed, they'll probably assume there must be an external cause and ask, why? According to Alex Korb, this isn't the right question. Instead, we need to look towards the complicated configuration of the human brain. The brain, very oversimplified, consists of a feeling brain and a thinking brain. The feeling brain is the limbic system, also known as the reptile brain. It's responsible for feelings and emotions. There's the thinking brain, called the prefrontal cortex, which enables us to reflect abstractly. When a person becomes depressed, it happens due to a dysfunction in the communication between these two brain parts. Thoughts and emotions start spinning out of control, creating a downward spiral, pulling you into a vortex of sadness, fatigue, and apathy. The good news is that recent science confirms that the brain, like the rest of the body, can be restored and improved through dedication and practice. Through incremental positive adjustments, you can trigger neurochemicals in your brain that counter stress, reduce anxiety, and put you back on an upward spiral. The Upward Spiral Small steps in the right direction can have profound effects, giving you the power to become your best self as you literally reshape your brain. Here's a list of actions that can help you reverse the downward spiral. Exercise The benefits of exercise are tremendous. You'll sleep better, regain focus, and feel more like socializing. Furthermore, it puts you in a better mood and reduces stress. Pro tip, start small and build from there. Make plans By formulating plans and making decisions, you focus on essential things and shield yourself from distractions. Few things contribute to happiness more than setting goals and achieving them. Pro tip, make your goals challenging but achievable. Get sufficient sleep. Too little sleep or poor quality sleep harms you mentally and physically. It impairs your ability to focus and negatively affects your mood, stress levels, and blood pressure. Good sleep improves your memory and makes you a better decision maker. Pro tip, try to keep your sleep and wake times consistent. Change into your habits. Habits cause you to do things without thought. If you feel stressed or worried, you may unknowingly ticker bad habits like overeating or binge watching TV. This will most likely make you feel good in the short run but will inevitably hurt you in the long run. Pro tip Changing habits is challenging and will require determination. Set manageable and specific goals and keep at it. Use your body. Doing yoga with controlled breathing and stretching heightens your spirit, and a simple smile, even if forced, can change your mood. Pro tip, generate positive biofeedback by exuding confidence in your posture and gestures, by smiling and laughing, dancing, or playing your favorite music. Express gratitude. Gratitude makes you feel happier and healthier. Feel appreciation for something as simple as a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day, and it'll have a tremendous positive impact. Pro tip, write down all the things you feel grateful for and remember to tell people you appreciate them. Stop isolating. When depressed, you might avoid others to protect yourself from the potential emotional and physical pain of exclusion or rejection. Connecting with others reduces stress, anxiety, and hurt. Pro tip, put yourself out there. Don't hide. Reach out to the people you love. Talk with strangers or volunteer for a good cause. Seek professional help. Possibly you need extra help. Seeking a mental health professional can help to a great extent. Pro tip, medication and mindfulness seem to help most, especially when combined with psychotherapy. Bottom line, 
Everything is interconnected. Gratitude improves sleep, sleep reduces pain, reduced pain improves your mood, improved mood reduces anxiety, which improves focus and planning, focus and planning help with decision making. Decision making further reduces anxiety and improves enjoyment. Enjoyment gives you more to be grateful for, which keeps that loop of the upward spiral going. Next time you feel down, just remember that it's your brain stuck in a certain pattern of activity. Do something to change the pattern. Anything. Can't find a reason to get out of bed? Stop looking for one and simply get up. And there you have it. The Upward Spiral by Alex Korb in a nutshell. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.